By the way, guys, very good news came out last week, uh, a couple of days ago now. Zara K is actually free. She's out. And this is, you know, when I said in one of the tweets, I actually said that she will come out or maybe in one of the videos I said that. I, I, I was told off for saying that because, um, you know, um, I, it sounded like as if I was downplaying it, which obviously I didn't. I knew she was going through a lot. Um, but I, I had faith in, in the system that truth always wins at the end, um, especially on that scale if all of us are trying our best. I mean, obviously, world is not a bed of roses and people, there's so many innocent Zara Ks who are not, who don't have a profile as high as Zara uh, suffering in countries like Saudi Arabia, Iran, Pakistan, and pretty much every Muslim country. But um, but I but I was confident that Zara will eventually come out. We didn't know how long will it take, but in the end, I think it took nearly what... Uh, she was arrested on 28th of December. Um, so 28th of December, Jan, Feb. So two months and five, six days uh, it took, uh, which obviously would have been very traumatic, I know, and I'm trying to get Zara... Um, I'm sure so many other people are trying to get Zara as well to hear what happened. Um, but I was hopeful that she will come out. But you know what? Um, there's some people out there who would just attack you no matter what, whether you're right or wrong or not. For example, when I went after Ali Dava, there, there's some of our intellectually honest ex-Muslims uh, who didn't agree with me. And they call uh, and pe people like Amin Nawabi even went out and, uh, you know, they, they challenged me on my stance. And we disagreed. Um, and that's fine. I respect that more instead of everyone blindly following me or just uh, everyone blindly opposing Ali Dava just for the hell of it because he's Ali Dava, a hideous creature that he is. Um, but they didn't because they're intellectually honest people. They they didn't support me on that petition and perfectly fine. They have their reasons. I have my reasons. But people like Ali Dava and all these Dava guys and all these uh, apologists online, they all went after Zara just because she's an ex-Muslim. Not one of them said, yeah, that, that kind of crap does happen. Our community is known to do that kind of crap. But that, no, they didn't. You know what they said? You thought, oh, poof, it's not about blasphemy. Poof, poof. She broke the law. Now she's going to do time. You broke the law. You do time. You know, that was, and, and they were making fun of a cheesecake and everything. And Nazara is actually uh, is reverse trolling them. And she's actually named her Twitter as Zara. Zara Cheesecake. <laughs> so she was Zara K. So K became cake. Um, and she inserted cheese in there. So I want to ask those people with a big smile on my face. What happened? What what happened? You know, and um, and hopefully when Zara does come out, she will tell you exactly what happened. But I have my own. Uh, now I can talk, I guess. Uh, we know uh, the local Sh Shia Itnashari community. They bribed a local police officer to arrest her. What? The stupid mistake the police officer made thought that, oh, you know, she's just some little girl. We'll just get her. We'll teach her a lesson. I'll put some 500 bucks in my pocket and yay, life is good. Um, and they did it on the premise of Zara insulting the president. The president didn't even know. The post wasn't even that viral. No, nothing happened about that post. But they but they, they, they obviously couldn't arrest her for blasphemy. So they had to come up with something. And they had to come up with something big in order to get the blessing of the president. So that's why they did. But anyway, the, those police officers, that, that, I think there were a couple of police officers who did that. Uh, and apparently they're in trouble. Uh, I think Zara has more details. I kind of dropped out uh, eventually, kind of lost interest on, on what they were doing. But that was the whole motive behind that. Uh, but obviously it backfired. Uh, Tanzanian government ended up making a fool of itself. At, with every single passing day, they kept trying to justify the original decision. Because now... The police had done what they had done illegitimately. Now they couldn't charge it. So they couldn't go forward, but they didn't want to retract either because that would have caused a lot of embarrassment because it was covered by BBC, Daily Mail, ABC Australia, Channel 10, Channel 9, everywhere. It was, it was covered in the international media. And that was very embarrassing for Tanzania and its secular image. Um, so eventually uh, they had confiscated her Australian passport and then they lost it as well because they were just delaying it. But they realized, you know, they could delay it for another year, but there was no point because, you know, we were not going to slow down. Uh, people were still going to keep pushing the international media to do stories on her, and that would have just brought negative attention to Tanzania. And, um, you know, as a result, she's free now. Uh, but the idiot Dava guys, 
<laughs> it is so stupid. You know, as I said, they would just go after anything. They they, they are so sc- they're so scared of ex-Muslims that no matter what happens, by hook or crook, they want to push us down. But you know what, kids, you're not going to get it. We're here for a long time, um, and we're going to stay, and we're going to keep eating away your little tribe that you have. You little tri- You know how does the Ali Dava say? <laughs> but anyway. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.